We went apple picking a few weeks back and had a lot of Honeycrisp apples left over. We just couldn't get through them all in time, so I really wanted to bake with them. But you ever notice that a lot of baking recipes require Granny Smith apples? So after some research, I noticed that you could make an apple crisp using Honeycrisp apples. So that was perfect. The chewy oats and the toasty walnuts form this crispy layer that works perfectly against the tender, juicy apples. And it's perfect with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. So if you want to make something that reminds you of an apple pie, but in my opinion is even better, then grab your Honeycrisp apples and I'll show you how to make this. Man, let me tell you, there's nothing better than a crisp, juicy apple that you picked yourself right off the tree. And it also lasts longer. These apples are kind of old now. I mean, we've had them for weeks, but we seriously just couldn't eat that many apples. <laughs> so it's about time to make this crisp. And all you're gonna need to make my skillet apple crisp is walnuts, white sugar, salt, brown sugar, flour, apple cider, cinnamon, unsalted butter, rolled oats, lemon juice, and honey crisp apples. I'm just slicing up one and a half pounds of honey crisp apples that I peeled, cored, and then sliced into half inch pieces. Semi thin, but still a little bit thick enough so they're kind of toothsome when you bite into them. Now you're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Mmm, instantly, apple pie. And two tablespoons of sugar. Mix it up. It's starting to get nice and silky and glisteny. Okay, you're good enough. This recipe is all about this delicious crisp topping. You're gonna use some old fashioned rolled oats, not the instant kind. So this is a quarter cup and then equal parts, a quarter cup flour, and then a quarter cup, again, of finely chopped toasted walnuts. So now what I did before I started this recipe was get some walnuts, toast them in a dry pan, no oil, until they turn a little brown and smell nutty. And then once they smell aromatic, you toss them onto your cutting board and you just chop up what you need until you have a quarter cup of finely chopped toasted walnuts. It makes all the difference, so don't skip this step. One tablespoon of white sugar. And then I have three packed tablespoons of brown sugar. Now you're gonna add three tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. Yeah. Toss it together so that everything's moistened. <laughs> you guys, I've been on the streak of messing up my own recipes. That's why it's important to go to chefjulian.com and print out the actual recipe so you don't do what I do. I forgot to add a quarter teaspoon each of kosher salt and cinnamon to the crisp topping. So uh, it should have been in there before the butter, but it's all right. But you need that salt and cinnamon to have that balance against the sweetness, so don't forget it like I did. Okay, you're good, you're good. <laughs> now let's go to the stove. I'm working with a skillet that you can actually put in the oven, it's oven safe, but that's to make my life easier and it's also the reason why I call it a skillet apple crisp, but if you don't have it, then it's okay, just transfer it to a different dish. I'm putting in first a half cup of apple cider and we're gonna bring that to a boil and reduce it just until you have a third of a cup. And the way you can tell is by once it looks thick, you pour it back into a measuring cup and make sure that you have a third of a cup. That's the easiest way to do it. So we have a third of a cup and it only takes about two to three minutes. 
And then while it's still hot, you're gonna add in two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice because you gotta balance out that sweetness with a little acidity, a little sharpness. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of unsalted butter. And then you're gonna add your sugar cinnamon coated apples to that butter. And now I'm gonna sprinkle with a little bit of salt, just because for me personally, I love desserts to have a little balance of, of salt. And the salt doesn't really come out as too salty. It just kind of helps balance out that overly sugary sweetness. So we're gonna do this for about 12 to 14 minutes, tossing it occasionally, just until they're tender, but not completely cooked and mushy because they're gonna go in the oven for a little bit too. See you after 12 to 14 minutes. So I set my timer for 12 minutes because my stove is pretty high and I don't want my apples to fall apart into mush. And my oven is preheated to 450 degrees because you need it's nice and hot so that it's bubbly and the crisp topping gets brown. Turn it off the heat and get that concentrated apple cider lemon juice concoction. Woo! I want an apple pie facial. Mmm, the apple slices are thirsty. Look at them drink up that syrupy sauce. And even though this isn't a whole ton of apples, I'm still using a 12 inch nonstick cast iron skillet because I just want the crumb topping to just coat every little slice of apple and have even distribution. So sprinkle it on. Let's just pop it into the oven and see what comes out. Now let's plate this sucker up. I decided to be adorable and put the apple crisp in one little dish for us to share. And of course, of course, you have to serve it up with vanilla ice cream. The ice cream, when it starts to melt, it becomes this like creamy sauce that mixes in with that cinnamon, sugar, apple cider delightfulness. I think it's a great element to it. So make sure you serve it with either ice cream or whipped cream. I actually overcooked it just a smidge because I was worried that it wasn't looking brown enough. So don't do that. But yeah, it's chewy, crispy, cinnamony, juicy, tender. And I think it would be perfect for Thanksgiving. I agree. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I think I could have this with just breakfast, with just a cup of coffee. Maybe minus the ice cream if we want to be not too piggish. <laughs> no, you have to have it with ice cream. <laughs> For breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I offer you some substitutions? If you don't have Honeycrisp apples, because I know that sometimes they are hard to find or they are expensive, then you could use Golden Delicious or Braeburn apples instead. Instead of walnuts, you could use pecans, almonds, anything, but make sure you toast them before also. Well, I hope you enjoyed spending time with me today and that you give this recipe a try because it's perfect for fall. There's nothing really better. So. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to push like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Mm. It's a little crunchy. Makes me want to go apple picking again.